Uh, hey everybody, uh, this is Jim Lidstone and uh, uh, we're getting ready to start uh, the third week of the class <clears throat> and I hope things are going well for you. Um, as always, if you're having any difficulties, please, 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 uh, you know, give me a call, send me an email or text or whatever and uh, we'll try to get you uh, straightened out. So what I want to do in this short video is to introduce you to the major project that you're going to be doing in here in the course and to get you started on that. Um, I encourage you to go to uh, the assignments section. It used to be called the Dropbox, but now it's called assignments. So in the in the green bar under um, course work or course material, click on the down arrow and you'll go to the assignments uh, area. And then um, you'll see a number of different parts of the project. Um, go to the one that says um, project uh, full submission. Uh, click on that, and uh, if you go to that, you'll see a, uh, a file that's been attached, uh, and it's the assignment guidelines for the whole thing, okay? So as you're listening to this, I encourage you to have that in front of you, and we'll sort of go through this uh, piece by piece. Uh, and I'm going to be turning my head here a little bit to look at my other computer screen where I've got those assignment guidelines uh, pulled up. So... Um, the project in this class, uh, what I want you to do is to think about, okay, how can we eliminate chronic disease in a particular geographic area in, in the country? Now, if everybody was here in Milledgeville, what I'd do is I would have you all um, do some research on Baldwin County, which is where we are, Baldwin County, Georgia, and then we would work together on this as a team. But I want to give you the opportunity to, um, to do this project relative to wherever you are, whether that's in the metro Atlanta area, uh, in the upper Midwest, or you know, rural Georgia, you know, wherever you happen to be. So um, that's your choice. You know, whatever, whatever you want to uh, focus on, you know, go ahead and do that. And then to choose from, you know, one of these uh, chronic diseases, obesity, either child obesity or adult obesity, uh, type 2 diabetes, or cardiovascular disease. Now, all of those are chronic diseases. They all have behavioral causes that deal with or that um, uh, pertain to our uh, lifestyle habits, our access to physical activity opportunities and to healthy food. And uh, so they all essentially have the same causes uh, but yet they're, you know, they're, they're different and they appear in, in different uh, um, incidence rates in different areas of the country. Okay? Uh, then there's some uh, format instructions there for how to put the thing together. And uh, you know, it, it, at the end of the format thing, it says retain the, the subheadings, headings and subheadings for your paper. So please do that. It uh, really adds to the readability of, of the paper and helps to keep your thoughts organized. Okay, um, so it's divided into uh, four parts and I'm gonna be asking you to submit uh, each of those four parts at various points throughout the semester and the first one's gonna come up here uh, pretty soon so I want you to get started on it. But part one is called Introduction and Planning Model. And um, so uh, and let me just go through all the parts uh, first of all, then we'll come back to that part one and spend a little more time on that. So part one, introduction and planning model. Uh, part two is partnerships and planning. And then part three is your project and program design. And then finally, part four is implementation and evaluation. All right, so... Um, I teach this class at the undergraduate level as well, and what I've done um, for the last couple of, uh, last three times, I guess, that I've taught the class is I've used uh, what, what we call a flipped classroom approach, and that means that um, students have access to all of the course materials through readings, through online lectures, through learning activities, and so on. And then when they come to class, uh, we, we get them into project groups and they spend time actually planning to do something out in the community to address these chronic diseases. Uh, and we've had a lot of success with that and the students really love it. I want to do that with the graduate course as well. 
Okay, now, okay, don't panic. You know, here's how that's going to work. Um, you know, I, I think you'll get a lot more out of the class if instead of just learning from the book and from the PowerPoint slides about how to plan a program, that you actually learn by learning, or actually learn by doing uh, and planning a program. Okay, planning and implementing a program. Um, so, what I, I mean, the graduate course is basically set up like a flipped classroom. So, you know, you have the learning modules, you have the learning activities, you have the readings. But what I want you to do is I want you to think about every day, okay, what can I do uh, in the community where I'm at? Um, how can I make a difference with uh, any of these chronic diseases? Uh, and so, you know, I want you to actually plan, implement, and do something in your community uh, with a particular group of people. Okay, get out from behind your computer and get out there and learn by doing. So that's what the project is all about. And uh, so right from the get-go, we're going to function as a team. Uh, you know, individually, we might not be able to make much of a difference, but there are 16 of us, I think, in this class, and collectively, you know, we can do something. Now, we're going to be doing it in different areas, but I want us to think as though, you know, we're all maybe in the same area, we're all working sort of with the same population, and we're doing something collectively that's going to make a difference in, um, in the prevention of these chronic diseases. So try to wrap your head around that. Um, okay, so going, getting back to uh, part one, this is where we do some background information, uh, background research, try to gather some information about the, uh, uh, the extent of the problem in the area that we're working and uh, you know, what, the, you know, what the main causes of the problem are, and then which population we're going to be focused on. Okay, so uh, if you will, you know, turn to that uh, part one of the uh, assignment guidelines. Again, it's called uh, Part One Introduction Planning Model. And so Part A is an overview of the health problem in the community. So whether you're working in a community near um, you know, a major city in the upper Midwest or uh, you know, the metro Atlanta area or a small town in South Georgia, you know, Tell us about that community. So provide an overview of the community. That's uh, A part one, um, including relevant demographic and quality of life indicators. So, you know, what's the population like? What are the population demographics in terms of uh, race and ethnicity and age and uh, so on? Um, education levels of the community, so important. Uh, you know, really relates to health issues. Uh, crime, um, you know, living conditions, housing, um, access to, you know, parks, access to trails, things like that. You know, what, tell us, tell us about the community. Paint a picture for us so that we understand uh, what it is that you're dealing with. And then you get into the epidemiology stuff, which is, uh, you know, really uh, uh, this week's lesson. So, use your detective skills and find out what is the incidence of the problem um, that you're dealing with, whether that's obesity, type 2 diabetes, or cardiovascular disease. And so when you're doing that, it's a good idea to kind of talk about the, uh, the problem from, you know, an international or a national scope, first of all, uh, and then after that, try to narrow it down, um, you know, maybe statewide, you know, what are the incidence rates on a state base, statewide basis, and then finally, um, you know, maybe the county level, or even, you know, even uh, more narrow than that if you can, but county level is probably the best that you can, can get at. So you want to find out uh, what are the incidence rates in the county that you're dealing with, and uh, CDC is a good source of that. Um, county health rankings that uh, Robert Wood Johnson Foundation has put out. So those are a couple of different sources where you can go for information on 